guys, Birkin has joined the chat. She is here. Birkin, you want to say hey? Hey, you guys, my name is Stella Williams, and today I am so excited to show you my favorite Barbie pieces I've been collecting for the last year and show you guys my top things from Good American to Skims to What Low Wants to Forever 21 Plus and many, many more. We're living in a pink world and I love it. Today is also a really special day because we're gonna go ahead and get started. If you can see, I have my Let's Go Party from Adore Me. I didn't even put that in this haul. Well, here's a picture. This is with uh, my friend Rachel K. Grimm. She did a collaboration with Adore Me and it was so cute. The packaging's cute. It's so cute. I replaced my shoe dazzle box, so go them. But without further ado, let's get into this Barbie collab and not really collab haul. The first piece of clothing I'm gonna show you today is what I'm already wearing. This is a shirt from Original Baddie Club by Light Skin Keisha. I wear this all the time. I host a Bible study on Facebook every Wednesday and for like three weeks in a row last month I was wearing the same shirt. This is my favorite everyday shirt. It's pink, it's fun, especially when I was blonde. It's really comfortable and I've outworn this shirt, so the fact it's still holding integrity, Light Skin Keisha did a really good job with her whole line and the integrity of the clothing. I feel like everyone's kind of getting a pass with the whole Barbie thing, because really you only need to make stuff pink to be considered Barbie. Merkin, why are you posing like you're modeling? <laughs> you're so cute. Should I 360 this because it's just a shirt? Okay, y'all, this next outfit we have is an official Barbie collab with Forever 21. I'm obsessed with the glasses, as you can see, as you can see, and the Barbie top. This is just so LA fun summer for me. And in talks with Forever 21 Plus, I found out that this tag is actually supposed to be taken off, but why would I wanna do that? It's so cute. Love this outfit. These jeans are actually my favorite from Forever 21. I know they're not the Barbie we're supposed to be talking about, but they have stretchy in the back and they're giving like 90s baggy. So I will definitely link these down below cause they're a winner. But yeah, this is very cute. I have a Barbie strand of hair somewhere in the pile on my bed, but it's not right here. But this is one of my favorite outfits. This is actually in the profile picture of my YouTube channel um, because I'm obsessed. So here is this 60, this 360, and we're gonna get into some skims next. Totally forgot to mention one of my favorite things to wear with this outfit is this Barbie hat. It is literally so cute and it's a bucket. Really just gives the Barbie vibes. I still don't know what I'm wearing to the movie and I think this video is gonna help me really narrow it down. So let's move on to the next outfit. All right, you guys, this next outfit we have is from Skims. Now this is not, they, Skims did not drop an official Barbie collection but they did drop Barbie core last summer in 2022 and this is from that collection. They did just restock this too. So if you like it, it is available. I love the swimsuit. This is the swimsuit I wear in the summer, whether like I'm at the family pool, whether I'm just hanging out with friends, whatever, like this is my vibe this year. It's just really comfortable and it's held up well. Skims has amazing quality. It's worth $4 billion now. Can you guys believe that? It's insane. So the swimsuit is zip in the front, which is great. And the butt doesn't look like a thong. So without further ado, let's show this outfit. <laughs> Birkin is literally the shade queen. I was just like, oh, like maybe I'll change her name to like Delilah. I was like, come here, Delilah. She's like, mm, you know, that's not my name. So this next outfit I have, I'm really excited to show you. It's the same Forever 21 pants again. I love them. I'll probably just wear them anytime I need pants in the hall. Um, again, I forget my UK followers. I'm sorry. Pants in the UK means underwear. Right, fun fact I've learned while doing YouTube. So all my UK followers are like, every time you say it, I just cringe because I hear underwear. My jeans I'm wearing. <laughs> are um, Forever 21 for the rest of the video. But this top is the one I wanted to highlight. It is from my absolute favorite store right now called What Low Once. You guys, if you have not seen my videos, I've been so obsessed. This is the, so you guys have been seeing me rock the spaghetti strap version of this dress. I'm literally obsessed with it. It is a small, sustainable owned business based in Los Angeles, California by Lauren Gray. It is my favorite store right now. It carries plus sizes. Does it carry straight sizes? I don't think so. I love it if you have not heard me say this before because it's price comparable to the places you're probably already shopping like H&M, Zara, Forever 21. What's that place called? Fashion Nova. It's literally comparable to those stores. So shout out to Wet Low Once. This top is from there. And although not official Barbie collection, I feel like it's Barbie core. So what is Barbie collection of what I'm wearing though is this Forever 21 necklace. It says Barbie. This is from 
the Barbie collection with forever. It's very cute outfit, very comfy outfit. So here it is. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, fun fact. Uh, I was supposed to tie this shirt and I didn't. So here it is tied. Okay, let's move on to the next outfit. All right, you guys, this next dress is from Finesse. Now, this when I ordered this dress, it was the first time I had ever shopped from Finesse. And if you know anything about me when I try new stores, I typically get various sizes because I don't know what's true to size and what's not. This dress, I should have gotten a 2X, I got it in a three, but I feel like two would have been just a tighter form-fitting feel, which I would have probably liked more. Sometimes it feels a little loose. So yeah, get your true size at Finesse. It, it, this dress specifically was true to size. The other stuff, we'll get into it in our Finesse haul. But I really love this dress. I wore this to karaoke one time, got a lot of compliments on it. Right now I'm not wearing shapewear with it because again, it already is too big. So right now I feel it out a little bit more than with shapewear. So. Here is this outfit with the asymmetrical line, the ribbed lining, love it. My mentee has left me, so. I am showing you guys today the Good American Pink Barbie Core Pants. These came out in 2022 and I'm in love with them. I always love the control that these have and I feel that I look better in these without shapewear. I like a Good American Pant because they do fluctuate with you and your weight and I genuinely appreciate that and they fit very well. So they're cute. I'm gonna go ahead and do the 360 these. You guys have seen these before and they're awesome. So here they are. These next bottoms I've been obsessed with since I did my collab, since I did my Ashley Stewart haul. They feel like pajama bottoms with the satin material and I'm obsessed. They're so comfy, which is why I wanted to wear them to the movie with a nice little heel. Yeah, they're just, they feel like a, they don't look like a pajama bottom, but they feel like a pajama bottom. That's what I like about them. Here's the back, they even got some stretch. Now the butt doesn't look like popping like compared to the Good American Jeans I just sh showed you, but it's still giving, she's still cute. So um, yeah, it's giving like, <gasps> Melina, do you want Cold Stone? Yes. Oh my gosh, Barbie ice cream from Cold Stone? Okay, we literally have to go make a TikTok and do that. Here is this outfit. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay guys, this next outfit we have is the same top, but this skirt from Finesse is perfect. The structure in this skirt is lacking, but I say that in the best way possible because I look so good in this skirt when I have shapewear on, like my stomach looks disappeared. I'm gonna pop a picture up. Right now I don't have shapewear on and it still looks good, but from the side you can definitely see the apple. But when I wear shapewear, when I wear my skims with this, I look like, I literally look like a catfish, like actually look like a catfish. So this is one of my favorite skirts. I wear with little top, this is high maintenance, but it's definitely giving Barbie. So here is this skirt. All right, let's move on to the next outfit. And of course I saved the best for last. And if I had any brain cells, I would wear this to the Barbie movie tomorrow. I'm not counting it out. This is really actually giving. This is from the Forever 21 X Barbie collection. This was probably the most expensive thing I've ever purchased at Forever 21. I think this outfit was $68 or each piece was $68. Like it was just something so dumb. Let me see. Yeah, the tag, the prices aren't even on the tag. Like this outfit was so expensive. I think the bottoms were at 60 something. I think this outfit total came out to like hundred bucks. It was crazy. But the quality is there and it's cute and it's worth it and it's branded. So I'm obsessed. So this is so fun. I do always need some help with someone zipping it up in the back unless I did it like halfway and put my head through. 
but it's so cute, so comfortable, and here is your 360. watching this video i hope you had a lot of fun if you want links to anything it will all be linked down below let me know which one was your favorite what are you guys wearing to the barbie movie are you even going to see the barbie movie or are you over this whole thing let me know i'll talk to you guys really really soon god bless you guys and i'll see you later bye bye